covering the clubs and organizations at Gulf Coast Community College. This is your GC Wired Club Corner Board. GC Wired here with Jerome Thames from the Gulf Coast Combatants Club. Jerome, how are you doing today? Doing fine. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Awesome. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the Combatants Club? All right. So the Gulf Coast Combatants Club is basically I'm trying to make sure that people who are out there who are interested in learning combative sports, i.e. boxing, Muay Thai, MMA, are learning it the right way and not a consumer-driven market. Because when I was growing up, I was fortunate enough to be able to not have the whole students paying money. Excuse me student paying money instead of having all my coaches before I had the right training. Um, Panama City is a very small city um, on record and a lot of people are trying to sell a skill that's not really, how do I say this, that's not really perfected within themselves. So what I'm trying to do is negate that by not only using my expertise to show people what I know, but also put them in the right direction of people who are qualified to teach the skills they're looking at, be it striking, um, grappling, anything that they want to endeavor, be it traditional or contemporary. All right. Um, so what are you guys, like, when's your meeting times and everything? Our meetings are Mondays and Wednesdays at 1 p.m. It's in the dance studio room next, and next to the fitness center and the, um, what's that room called? Uh, the, wherever the basketball gym is, that's what I <laughs> All right, um, and so what fundraisers are you guys doing now? Uh, our first fundraiser is going to be sometime in the first week of November. We're going to be having a bake sale, and also we're going to be having a boxing mitt and Muay Thai pad uh, workout. I'm bringing my coaches in, and we're going to show people just how a real workout prior to a bout goes on the focus mitts. Um, some of the other things is once a month, we're going to take the club to a person or a school that is qualified for what they do, be it traditional. I think our first meeting is actually we're going to meet up with a guy who teaches uh, Capoeira Mandinga from Brazil. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to have the students interact with people who are actually certified to do things as opposed to people running around just trying to tell them whatever. All right. It seems like you have a nice belt here. Um, what kind of styles are you going to be teaching the students? Um, I've been in martial arts since I was three, all forms of combative sports. Uh, I, my background is I have black belts in Chinese Wushu, Taekwondo, and Shotokan Karate. I am the 2009 Air Force Silver Medalist for boxing, and I'm the regional Muay Thai champion, as well as I have numerous other medals in other sports. Basically what I'm going to be teaching people is starting from the basics to the more inter intermediate and advanced techniques of boxing, Taekwondo, Muay Thai, and Chinese Wushu because those are basically everything that makes me me. And so I can, I can only show people what has made my fighting style so dynamic over the past 10 years. So okay. that's pretty much. Well, it seems like you really know what you're doing out there. Yeah, my dad was insane. Marine guy. So. <laughs> Showing us something? All right. Well, what do you like to go? So, I don't know. All right. Well, first thing I'll be showing is the round kick, lead leg round kick. A lot of people don't understand it because they think it doesn't have power. But if you do it correctly, you're using your hips, everything correct way, it has not only this power, it's the easiest way to hit your opponent because of the fact that it is close to your opponent. So you're right here in your fighting stance, hands up, feet show width apart, you're 45 degrees at your opponent. All you do is you basically you raise your leg, then strike, come back down. I got so, it. strike. So, 45 degrees apart like this? Yes. And then you just raise your leg and kick? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Try, when you're doing it, your foot right here, your toes, I want to point that towards that wall when you throw the kick. So, on, your, on the ball of your feet, on the ball of your foot, pivot, and then throw the kick. Okay. So. Try again. So, like, pivot my foot. This Oop. foot. <laughs> <laughs> right, we do it right here. Pick up, pivot, kick. Do it all in one foot motion. All right. All right. So, just pivot and kick. <laughs> yeah, you have, the, fall over. You, have the, you have the mechanics, so we just got to work on the fluidity. But you got it. That's it. All right. <laughs> all right. So, anything else you want to, anything else you want to show you? Or, um... How about something like something that you personally do a lot of the Chinese Chinese wushu? Uh, sure. Can we move this back? Alright, now this is my favorite. Uh, this is the reason I started off my Chinese wushu when I was little. 
And it's this is my way. favorite technique. This is the one that um, basically made me fall in love with Chinese martial arts. Um, all martial arts in general. Because just seeing the fluidity of it was like, wow, I gotta do that. And I was this tall and I was like, wow. So basically, it's called the butterfly cake. It's more of a forms trick outside of a, or a celebration move if you want to fight. So <laughs> here it goes. Basically, I'm right here. I step, I, my, I send my weight over here. Then I drop, come back, and I throw my weight over here while pivoting. So, yeah. So here it goes. Sound That's one of my. That, I saw that move. That was the move that had me fall in love with martial arts. So, yeah. it looks good, man. All right. <laughs> Thank you for being with us. All right. Thank you. All right. With GC Wired, I'm Benjamin Cowan.